breakfast. There you go. There you go. Loves the new milk. I'm actually surprised it's taking this long for a blend to come out. I'm surprised too. But maybe it was too much of a pain in the ass at the factory. I don't know. Yeah. I'd like your Good job. We have a nut butter blend on toast fingers, and she really likes them. What do you think, Riley? Do you like it? very into what she's doing. We got a new milk, so it's oat. Um, oh, there we go, not the French side. So it's oat, what was it? Almond and cashew, was it? No, I think it's coconut. Oh, coconut, soy. okay. Oh, okay, I totally said that all wrong. Yeah. So we, we wanna know if it frosts. Yeah, nothing here, what am I doing? I know, good thing, I good thing I, uh, I stopped you. Look at how much it frothed. It definitely froths. I'm gonna say it did a very good job frothing. I have to show how many friggin' balls our cat gets out. So Blaze likes to play with balls at nighttime. And just in this area alone, there's four balls. There's five. There's the little kitty that does it all. All right, let's go back and hang out with baby while she's eating. I'm gonna go get your clock ready. I'm gonna have some breakfast and feed a baby and then hopefully I can come on and talk to you guys but this is kind of how our mornings are super chill and relaxing Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic start to your day. Ours start off not so great. Um, I'll share it with you guys, but I, uh, I fell back asleep. Well, first off, she's not been sleeping the best at nighttime, or I should say like early, early in the morning. And, um, so she was up at about 4, but she didn't really start putting in a fuss until about 5.30 and that's when I took her out of bed and I nursed her for a bit and then um, 
uh, for about half an hour and then I let her sit up and she just wanted to play with some of her toys because I always keep some toys close by for the fact that she likes to get up before the rest of us and so she was in between Chris and myself but then he went to the bathroom because he needed to go to the bathroom and um, he laid her on my back but I didn't I wasn't really fully awake at that point and I moved her in between our two pillows thinking that that would be good enough and I just fell back asleep clearly because I woke up to her I guess wrestler bridging it all the way off his side of the bed she obviously was very upset and we put ice on her head right away it was at the back of her head over around here um, you can't even really feel the bump anymore we put ice on it and then I she fell asleep right away when I started nursing her for about half an hour after that happened and then once she woke up from her nurse it's like nothing happened she was totally fine um, and then we went on our morning walk and regular morning routine like we usually would and then we came home had breakfast you guys would have seen the footage of her having her breakfast and that kind of stuff and then yeah I like to start my morning having some cereal or hot cereal whatever we choose to have in the morning and then she'll either nurse right away or she'll hang out until I'm done my breakfast and then be ready to nurse at that point I let her decide when she's ready and then my mom gave me a call because I messaged her and let her know what happened and she said you know how's how's Riley but more importantly how are you and so I told her because you know now I'm beating myself up about it and it's like this kind of stuff happens and she's okay and of course I always think like I wrecked my baby she's wrecked forever kind of thing but um, no my mom's like you fell on your head all the time because I was so top heavy as a kid so you know I would just my head would hit everything um, and she's like the first couple times it's really upsetting and then it becomes a little bit more of a normal thing when kids do it and she said now I can look back and laugh at it but at the time it was you know you feel horrible as a mother when something like that happens <sighs> yeah so yes I've got a load of laundry on today the plan of today um, all of our fur fam has to go into the vet office today to just get their yearly inoculations and stuff like that what else do we need to do we're probably gonna stop by the Summerhill market which is a little market there we like to get their uh, vegan luncheon meats and stuff like that because we're gonna be going to the cottage in two weeks and that stuff keeps so it's like why not pick it up now and then I do want to get a workout in and we have some diapers that need stuffing but aside from that yeah so I will get back to talking to you guys in a little bit but I'm going to let her nurse and let her nap because this is how we start our mornings and I absolutely love starting our mornings like this and I've learned to just accept it and it's super chill and relaxing and you know what this time is super fleeting and I might as well enjoy it while I've got it because this is not going to last forever because she's already six and a half months so we might as well enjoy it another thing I wanted to mention really quickly is I'm finally caught up with all of my YouTube videos but I feel weird because I would I would take footage whenever I felt like it and then I just had such a backlog and that's why things were coming out that were almost like a month behind kind of thing but now I'm all caught up so I'm kind of nervous about keeping on track with this kind of stuff I'm trying to give myself about two weeks yeah, like a week and a half to try and edit things so hopefully you know it won't be 
filming that week and then it comes out on the Monday <laughs> like a, a week's notice so hopefully it is doable it just gets a little bit hard with a baby but um, you know because I'm the editor <laughs> but I'm gonna try my best and get this going So Riley didn't have a full feed, so I'm gonna see if slash nap. So I'm gonna see if she's that uh, now, and then we're gonna get going with the other things. Laundry's on the line. I have done the dishwasher. Next load of laundry is in. Baby is still asleep. I will take it. So I am gonna get making our lunch. We had grilled cheese and tomato soup because we have an abundance of tomatoes right now. So I am gonna make another grilled cheese for Chris and myself before we try to bring the babies in to the vet. We also have squash or pumpkin from the garden that I cooked up or I baked. So I'm gonna say that also that's gonna be something we're gonna chow down on because why not? Things have been pretty busy, I gotta say. Um, I'm looking forward to showing you guys my new desk set up upstairs. Oh yeah, I need the grilled cheese. I love the President's Choice is a Canadian thing. President's Choice cheddar style slices that are plant-based are delicious. Delicious. So if you guys are looking for something like that, definitely try it out. I think I'll make a different kind of sandwich for Chris because we definitely don't have enough bread. So, oopsies. I grabbed too many slices. I found these also reusable bags and <clears throat> they have been amazing. I've been really enjoying them. The recipe for the tomato soup actually calls for um, like canned fire roasted tomatoes, but because of how many tomatoes either we've been getting from family or you know, we've been growing ourselves, I'm gonna need more butter. And uh, we've been really fortunate. When, right as we bought this, doesn't it fall right when we were putting it in the car? So we had to tape it up because it was kind of bad. <laughs> Ooh, I've made focaccia for the first time. If you guys follow me on Insta, you would have seen it. 
and I used, again, a whole bunch of tomatoes from our backyard. It's crazy how sweet the tomatoes are this year. Like, I just, I, I just, I can't. It's just so delicious. So anyways, the focaccia turned out so good. I've been kind of getting into bread making. I ended up putting in, um, for people that live in Canada, you can do ship or shop and click kind of thing. So sometimes when we're in a pinch, I'll do that. I'll put this down for Jem to look out. We ended up ordering some bread flour and then lo and behold, don't they send us home with two? which was really bizarre. I'm like, okay, that's a thing that just happened. And um, and yeah, so we ended up getting an extra bag of flour, which is kind of nice because focaccia bread, you need six cups of flour in itself, so it's a lot. And the cool thing about bread, and I think the reason why I like it is because you just do a little something and then you wait. You do a little something else and then you wait. So you don't really have to worry about lots of stuff that you need to do. So it, it's a lot of waiting for the rises, which is kind of awesome. But uh, yeah, I'll show you guys the soup in a second. It has coconut milk in it, so that's why it has this color to it, but it's so delicious. And then here is the pumpkin from the garden, which you can just eat like this. Like I just baked it in my toaster oven. It's so delish, so delish. Let's get these out of the way first. Look at how beautiful these tomatoes are from the garden. So beautiful. Sometimes I like making my own hummus, but ever since having a kid, I'm just like, I don't got time. Because I don't just buy the chickpea like canned chickpeas, I will reconstitute the beans. Like I've got dried beans in the pantry. And these hummuses are just so delicious. So I'm just like, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. This morning just totally took the wind out of my sails. So I kind of feel like I'm totally not super like gung-ho myself lately today and I do apologize about that <sighs> I'm just tired I am sleepy I'm a sleepy sleepy girl there we go look how perfect that is okay I'm gonna stick this in the toaster but I will finish making lunch and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit I wanted to show you guys my new setup I'm so excited because I get the window back which I didn't have before. Don't worry, husband, I am not showing your computer uh, content for work. <laughs> I always work. I know. Um, but yeah, I've got my little tablet over here and I've got my big honkin' 32 inch curved screen, which has been really helping my eye fatigue, which I didn't realize was a thing. Um, and yeah, I am super stoked to have this. It's been I've been slowly getting used to it because I'm not really in here that often because of baby, but she is still sleeping and because she conked her head this morning, I'm letting her have extra rest today because I think I probably would have woken her up by now. Um, actually, no, we don't usually let her go past two hours, but I might today. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I've got patreon orders to get ready and then I also have a big Etsy order I'm going to be getting ready, so I figured I would take you guys. Uh, with me while I pack some orders and I still have my tomato soup here. I decided I'd put it in a cup because why not and I am putting my my um, camera this way so I'm not showing my husband's computer because I, I'm a horrible wife that way. I'm not <laughs> no, you're a fabulous wife for not showing my computer. Mm, mm, mm. I have tons of NDA stuff up right now. I know babe, I know. Okay, time to get the orders ready. Mmm. A um, pack? No. It's not bad for soup. I know, right?
this. We know how long this is gonna take. Mm -hmm. I'm almost done here. Waiting for the kitties because we still can't go into the veterinarian office just like if it was COVID, the beginning of COVID. Yay! My hair is up because it is so warm and this battery is going to die again. The animals are home. The kitties obviously need to get some teeth cleaning and stuff like that. But aside from that, everyone's pretty healthy. Alrighty then. See you guys in a little bit because battery. But yeah, this uh, little ice cream cone is turning out great. Ooh. Cute, cute, cute. Afternoon walk. I almost forgot to film this. And it rained, so Chris and I had to go and save our laundry on the line. And then we were drenched rats, right Chris? Yes. Cold and drenched, and all the laundry was drenched. Slow pokies. <laughs> And now that it rained, it is super, super warm. All right, we've got a avocado pesto that I'll be making for dinner and doing our nighttime routine with a baby. All right. Apple slice. Because you liked that yesterday, right? They're, they're pretty thin. I'm not gonna lie. That's hard for you to grab. All right, you enjoy that boo-boo. Time for us to make some dinner. When it rains, it kicks up all of the stuff, all the dirt, and this is what we got. You want to play by the way? Here is the sauce. I think this looks fantabulous. And now we're gonna just have to get some water going and finish this meal off, get it ready for dinner. Time to give baby a bath and then to have this after she goes to bed. And oh my God, am I ever tired today. This is crazy. Oh, she had me up like for a while and you were right out of it. And oh, this morning, right. Baby buns. Boop. Boop in the baby buns. Oh, look, she's so happy.
amounts of 6,000 subscribers appreciate it. Heck yeah, they do. That's no small feat. No, it is not in this day and age. All right, Riley, let's go. Nighttime when I'm um, oh, I just finished Pinocchio. At nighttime when I'm uh, when I have dream feeded her in the past, mm -hmm. what ends up happening is uh, she thinks that I'm gonna give her the boob, and she's just like, and I'm like, no, 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 I just pumped. There's not gonna be anything in there. Here's a bottle. <laughs> yeah, isn't that funny? That is funny. On Planet Toro, everyone was afraid of Experiment Six Two Six. This little creature was bulletproof and fireproof and could move objects ten times his size, not light, light, toast and coffee. Um, oh, if you want to grab the laundry from the basement. Riley has been put down. It will probably take her like five or ten minutes to actually fall asleep. Wow, I'm like, focus, focus. Let me turn on some light in here. There we go. So now it's just time to clean up the room because it's generally where we like to eat and settle in for a little bit. So I'm gonna do that now. How you doing, buddy? I just wanted to take this time to say thank you to my wonderful patrons. You guys really help this channel keep going as well as support me on Patreon. And I would not be doing this without your help. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I can't wait to make more content for you guys over on Patreon. Hey, so I have just taken a shower. I am getting ready to wind down for the end of the night. And I just wanted to pop on because I'm just about to pump and uh, I just wanted to let you know how the rest of today went. So yeah, uh, Chris and I stuffed diapers, then I folded all of Riley's laundry, our laundry, got another bottle mixed and took a shower and here we are. I cannot believe the day went by so quickly definitely haven't really felt like myself today. I don't know if it's a combination of she fell and that really messed up my mood or today's just not a really great day for me, but we'll see how this footage gets stitched together. I am sorry if it's kind of a bizarre vlog but I wanted to keep it real with you guys and not sugarcoat anything. Some days are easier than others and today I'm just playing the pity mama card, I think. <laughs> but that being said, I hope you did find this type of vlog helpful. Tomorrow I've got to clean the bathrooms, hoping to work on more of my Patreon art because it is coming together real well. Oh wait, I don't even have it here with me. Well, regardless, 
the Japanese sweets have turned out super well. I need to just finalize the outlines but everything else is done so that's great because I still need to format and print and cut them which means you know I only have a finite amount of time since today is the 24th and this needs to go live on the 1st of September so <laughs> here are uh, but yeah on that wonderful note I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope to see you guys on the next studio vlog since I'm looking at my daughter's bottles right beside me put a baby bottle in the comment section below if you got this far in the vlog and I will see you guys on the next one love you bye